Hey guys, what is going on? My name's Tyler McNabb, and this is my YFZ450R. And in today's video, we're going to be kicking off the YFZ450 build with some disassembly action. So, as you guys know, in my last video, I talked about, kind of did a preview of what all we were gonna do to this. Um, unfortunately, we're not doing a full-on build, tear down, powder coat, rebuild, all that. However, we are gonna be tearing it down pretty far, pr pretty much almost all the way to the frame. Um, and then we're gonna be adding a lot of new components to this thing uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty much what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through, I'm gonna probably be a lot of time lapsing getting this thing disassembled. And then, um, yeah, we'll just see where it goes from there. Um, I've never really worked on one of these. So this is going to be a learning experience. So that's mainly why I'm gonna time lapse it too because um, I honestly don't know what order I'm gonna tear it down in though. So, you know, start with the big things, get the plastics off and, you know, maybe take the handlebars off and uh, air box, subframe, that kind of stuff. But I'm not sure exactly uh, what all I'm gonna disassemble and how much. But I know for sure I'm gonna try to take the engine out um, in one piece because I would like to try and vapor blast it um, while it's all still together. So, um, because I will be tearing the top end apart. So if a little bit of material does end up getting in the top end, then I know I'm gonna be good because it's coming apart anyway and I'm going to uh, uh, rebuild the top end and everything so I can clean it up. But yeah, that's so that's one thing I wanna try to do is leave that thing together but then pretty much everything else is gonna come off. We get the A-arms and all that. All that stuff's gonna come off. Uh, rear shock is definitely coming off. I'll probably pull the swing arm off and maybe try to vapor blast it as well, um, just to make it look uh, nice and good. Um, and then of course, uh, I'm gonna try to do like rear carrier bearings so all that stuff will come out. And uh, yeah, just as much as I can get off, so. Yeah, this is probably going to be a most of the day thing for me. So this video will probably just mainly be disassembly. Um, but yeah, I will uh, quit talking. We'll throw this thing on time lapse and we will get right into the disassembly. So I will see you in the disassembly department.
Okay guys, we got this thing all the way tore down. So here is what a 2019 YFZ450R looks like when you take it apart. So I got it pretty much all the way down to the frame. The only thing I didn't take out was the steering stem. Um, I just haven't done that yet um, because I don't even know if I'm gonna take it out. I may just take that off and uh, grease it up because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a new steering stem um, this year, but we'll see. Um, but other than that, completely down to the frame, all this is stripped down pretty much as far as it can go. And then I've got the motor sitting over here on the bench. And so we're gonna be doing a little bit of work on this as well. So like I said, doing the top end. And then uh, we're also gonna be doing some uh, clutch upgrades as well because uh, if you know anything about these uh, YFZs, you know you have to do some clutch upgrades before you race them um, because it can be catastrophic. I'll get into more detail uh, in that in a future video. But anyway, got the thing all tore down. Time lapsed all of it um, because it actually took me over the, I did it over the course of like three days um, because the first day when I started it, we still had Christmas going on and so um, I had uh, to go uh, hang out with family and stuff for that. And so I only got about half a day. And then the last two days, it's been uh, during the week. And so uh, I've just came out after work and worked on it a little bit here and there. So uh, overall, it probably took me about eight hours or so if I had to guesstimate somewhere in that range, maybe six to eight hours uh, if I had to guess. So um, not too bad, um, especially since I've never even touched one of these before. So um, the interesting part will be uh, seeing if I can remember how to put it back together. I took lots of pictures, um, especially with the wiring harness to show like what plugs go where and how it's routed and all that. And then I've got a little bit of an organi organizational system with some nice cool whip dishes uh, w with some various bolts and stuff. So we will see how it goes. Um, but we have the first step done of getting it torn down. So um yeah that's going to be the first video of disassembly not sure how long it was because i did some kind of quicker time lapse settings so uh, the time lapse probably goes by pretty quick but hopefully it was a decent length video um for these usually these videos are a lot longer than my normal videos so uh, we'll just see how it goes so this is officially part one of the 2023 yfz 450r build series so that's probably what it'll be titled and we have many more um, videos to come. So like I said, I got parts already accumulating up on the shelf and I placed another big order with BNR today, uh, ordering some various things. So hopefully here soon, uh, really the next step is I just need to do a lot of cleaning. And so it's luckily it's gonna be warmed up. It's gonna warm up the next like five or six days. It's gonna be in the fifties. So I'm gonna get the pressure washer out and get the sponge out and we're gonna do a lot of scrubbing on a lot of this stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little disassembly video. Uh, thank you guys for coming and watching. I really do appreciate it and stick around for the rest of the 2023 YFZR4, YFZ450R build series. So thank you guys for coming and watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.